Greetings. The owner of a small deli is trying to decide whether to discontinue selling magazines. He suspects that only 10.6% of his customers buy a magazine, and he thinks that he might be able to use the display space to sell something more profitable. Before making a final decision, he decides that one day he will keep track of the number of customers that buy a magazine. Assuming his suspicion that 10.6% of his customers buy a magazine is correct, what is the probability that exactly two out of the first 12 customers buy a magazine? Okay, so before we go attacking this problem, what we need to decide is whether or not it fits the binomial probability model. So um, let's back up here and let's just think about that for a second. So let's assume that um, his customers are independent of each other. That's a simplifying assumption. That means that what the first customer buys uh, in no way affects, buying a magazine no way affects the probability of the next person or tells you anything about the probability of the next person buying one. You need to have a fixed number of trials. We've got 12 of them, right? You need to have the probability of success needs to remain fixed. Okay, that's going to be true. Our probability of success is remaining fixed. And we can only have two possible outcomes. Either they buy a magazine or they don't. Okay, so having you know mentally gone through that, check, check, check the four things to this binomial, we can use the binomial probability distribution to go ahead and do this calculation. Okay, so what is our binomial probability distribution here? So good idea always to write that down. So it's binomial n by p, where n is going to be our number of trials, and p is going to be our probability of success. So in this case, our n is equal to 12. Let's see, what did we say his, um, his probability of success was? I think it's 10.6%, right? Okay, so if it's 10.6%, of his customers buy magazines, okay? So 10.6% is gonna be 0 0.106 as a decimal. All right, and he wants to know, what is the probability of exactly two out of the next 12 customers? So we wanna know what is the probability of X being equal to two? All right, now I always recommend that you do a number line. You don't necessarily have to write down all of the values in the number line but at least enough of it so that it makes sense to you as to what exactly is going on. So this number line represents x, which is the possible outcomes or the possible values the random variable can take on. None of the customers out of the 12 could have bought a magazine. One could have, two could have, three could have, all, the, all up to all 12 of his next customers all bought magazines, or all of the possible things that could happen, okay? And obviously some of them are more likely than others based upon his probability of success. So here we just have this single probability that we're looking for just for x equal to two. So when we're doing that, you can use the formula that's in the book and um, you know, I invite you to, to take a look at that, but that's not the way you do the calculations. No one in the right mind uses that formula anymore. We calculate it using a calculator or a computer. And the, and the TI calculators, it's by no PDF. And what you need to give it is you need to give it the number of trials, the probability of success, and the particular value that you need. Okay, so in our case, that's going to be bino, PDF, our number of trials is 12, our probability of success is 0 0.106, and the number that we are looking for is 2 for the x, okay? All right, I always recommend that you write that down first, then go in and type it into the calculator. So to get that typed into the calculator, we're going to need to go into our distributions menu. So we're going to go second vars, that's where distributions live. And if you scroll down, it's down there, it just takes a while to get to it. Notice there's a lot of different probability distributions, a lot of different probability models that we use um, in different instances. There's bino PDF, okay? So grab that bino PDF. Now, if you're an old calculator, you just got binome PDF on the home screen, and you got to type in 12 comma 0 0.106 comma 2 comma. On the newer fancy schmancy calculators, it gives a little menu-driven system here. So we put in the 12. We put in the 0 0.106. And we put in the x value, which was 2. And then we come down here and we paste the command. And now notice it looks just like you're back to one of the less expensive old calculators. You hit an enter and you come up with 2.4184. Okay. Let's see, I forget exactly how many decimal places they wanted this to. So let's go take a quick peek back there. Uh, 
don't see where they've told me that. Okay, well, just if you don't know any better, round it off to um, to uh, three places. Okay, if they don't tell you any different than that, that's generally a good rule of thumb is three decimal places. But be careful. Always read the problem because they're going to tell you most times what to round it off to. So going with the rule of thumb, rounding it off to three places here, this would be equal to zero. 0.242 out to three places, okay? Or if, they, if you went out four places, you'd go 2.418, okay? All right, hopefully that gets you started with the binomial probability distribution. Again, like I said, you're welcome to use the formula, but uh, maybe just one of those to get the hang of it, but that's your tool right there for calculating binomial probabilities.